Looks like Strice wants to talk to us. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Nah, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in Rhodes. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Let's see how this goes then. Hey, Arthur. You've got a Robin job, have you? Yeah. So, um, is your people there uh, Jacobites or? English lovers, Arthur. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old war bullshit it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? Riding round a couple of days back, I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. Oh, God. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me. We can take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. yep. All right, Priscilla. Roy, follow me. Okay. This is horse is pretty. So it is. Uh, trust Sean. We'll do you the stuff that we need to do for Strice, like after. Don't worry about doing it right now. It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back of north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. <laughs> what about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. 
didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. I'm guessing that's one of the houses near here. All right, it's gonna be off the road up ahead. Not that way, then. Come on, Priscilla. Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope Turn you off. know what you're doing. Who are about are these people? Outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Right. See how this goes. I don't imagine well, to be honest. Probably get himself shot. With the money stash now, eh? Huh? All right. Guess we should give the place a look and see what we can find. Well, I kind of didn't realize that that was the last one alive. You know, easy mistake to make. side of the house here somewhere. Ah, this one. Ah, damn it. Right much. I'm heading back to camp. Uh, Should have kept one alive. Shoot him, not realizing he was the last one left. Alright, can't lift any of them. Oh, what was that?
Let's see. Um, the weapon is in poor condition. Okay. Be stuffed up the fireplace or something, I don't know. Cheese will do for fishing. Uh, don't think I see anything else. Is that my pistol on the floor? as well. Is my good gun? One that I paid for? I don't know why that made me automatically pick that up. Uh, yeah, because that's that one that's really like... busted. Stashed it anywhere obvious. Made the mistake of killing them. Come here, Priscilla. Come here. Horse weapons. Just go see if I can lift this up or not. Now it's gone. No, I think we ruined our chances. Accidentally. Breaking that thing earlier. Well, not breaking, but shooting that guy earlier. Uh, can I 
clean this. There's not any large trees around here, is there? Just something that looks like you can sort of stash it in. Because you never know. Yeah. Unlikely. Let's have a look at our map. Um, yeah, we'll go see what that is about. Okay, then, girl. Let's go. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. <laughs> it's the stage. Grisman. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Salt. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Sure. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. <laughs> All right. Alright, okay. Let's go find his uh, animals. Alright. Do have to go into unfriendly territory, but. I'm up for trying to catch a zebra. Like, yeah. Let's go, Priscilla. Alright, I should definitely have this out. I want to do that. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. Shouldn't be too far. Cause it's not gonna be like difficult to spot, that's for sure. I don't know if I'm gonna get the lion or anything like that. Like that could be a different kind of difficult, more than likely. So we'll see. 
Alright, Priscilla. Alright. Alright, I'll study up so you get a wee bit of your energy back. Let's go. How far are we? Oh, we could just turn and go up the hill then. Let's go this way. Save us going the other road. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, that was deer. <laughs> I'm about to say. Alright, let's see where this is. I think a zebra would be easily spotted around here. Wait, wait, wait. That's not a zebra. It looks like a. Oh, wait. There it is. It's a donkey that's painted by the looks of it. You're alright. Or is it a zebra? I'm not really sure. No, no, that that's a mule's painted, I think. Or it's a crossbred. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I know. I know. You don't really want to go. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh my god! It's so noisy. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Bit worried we're both gonna fall there. Come here. <laughs> oh my god. It's alright, Priscilla. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Get you back to Margaret. <laughs> I'm not sure Priscilla knows what's the make of this. Yeah, no, this is this is a mule, I think. This one painted. Come here. Good grief! You found him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. Oh god, he's run off again. Well, he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. <laughs> no one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. Be a lord of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... No, oh, Lord. As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth a while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay. Come on, Priscilla. 
This is going to be the interesting part. Yeah, I know, we're going. Um... There we go. Alright, so let's go. Yep. Oh, steady on. Well, we didn't get to successfully rob a heist, but we have managed to, to find kind of an interesting character. And, um, I'm not really convinced we're actually going to find an actual lion and tiger, but I guess we'll see. Because, to be honest, it'd be kind of difficult if we had to. Yeah. Deal with an actual one. Oh, never mind. This is croc water. I'm not going. Well, gator water. I'm not going to go into that. Even if it is a shortcut. Alright. Um, I don't think we're too far off, actually, wherever they are. What's going on? The assistant. Hey, Mister. Oh, Miss. Howdy, Mister. Did uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one. No, nah, found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Why would you sent him? Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion. Oh, but thank goodness. Light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. Right, okay. Um... I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Looks like back blood to me. Oh, God. this oh. oh darn found your dog ex dog ex line hey boy oh where's the rest of them i think a cougar took him Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Oof. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh, well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. Doesn't seem like that great of a hiding spot. I don't exactly think that the, they wouldn't prefer to try for the horses. Per dog. Rubs up. Ugh, God, it really did get him. Tear that dog apart. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. 
Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Wait. Keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. Oh, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Closing off quickly, I wouldn't be closing it slowly. Alright. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought. Since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, thinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How do you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. <laughs> it's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in that sewn. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yeah. Slightly out of the way. Morning, fella. Morning. Yeah. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I imagine you're right about that. You was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animal was gone. But now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the side show business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Good listen if you wanted to. <laughs> Mr. Margaret? Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. <laughs> Speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, 
I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a car <laughs> in roads is hardly dreary, bloody late. Got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Alright, so we have another one to find out. Priscilla! We still have one more thing to do. Um. Right. Let's go. I'm gonna take a more direct route rather than following the road. So we'll find this last one. Yep. Uh, should be over here somewhere. Oh, whoops. Okay, that was close. Looks like we're emerald ranch over that way. Uh... Oh wait, no, it's already here. Right. You'd think this wouldn't be hard to find anyway. I don't know where he is. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. Dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. I don't think this is Snoop Dogg either. You've eaten enough. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're not messing about it this time. 
Okay. Whew. Unfortunate. He got it. He shot the thing. Is he dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Yeah. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Well, we may. On this guy. Gotcha. What lovely weather. Alright, well. I don't know how we would have got that cat anyway. Uh, I know. We're going back to tell them about the lion. Unfortunately, it didn't go exactly how I wanted it to. You need a bit of a clean. Are the there? Yep. Let's go. Should just be over through these trees, I think. An animal. Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I A knew. goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is rum, old boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And... What a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here. We had a deal. Yes, of course. It's probably worthless. A is a promise. He probably paints Sorry, some glass. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Oh my goodness. Oh, he actually gave me an emerald. Right. I'm very surprised by that. Very, very surprised by that.